In this movie, we're going to talk about some of the current VR camera solutions for capturing 360 video. So I made mention in the last chapter that VR is a fairly new medium and that things are changing by the day. So when you see some of the camera options that I am presenting to you right now, this could totally change to three months, maybe even a year from now. Let's see some of the different types of models that are on the market that capture 360 degree video. So one of them, kind of a point and shoot camera is called the Rico Theta. You can see it right here. So it's just a great way for a very inexpensive cost to get started with acquiring and slash capturing 360 video. And it takes some of the pain out of the equation too by not having you focused on the stitch, which we're gonna cover very shortly in an upcoming movie. That's not to say it just acquires the best or professional quality video though. We've got other solutions like this that can get you up and running right away too. You've got a Samsung Gear 360. And you should note that a lot of these cameras actually have two cameras enclosed within them, although it looks like one device, in order to get that whole spherical 360 image. So many of the examples that you'll see here consist of more than one capture in order to require a whole 360 degree video. So you can see there that this is a dual lens camera. Each of them are capturing 180 degrees. So this is another fairly inexpensive model. Another is a Pix Pro. And one thing to note is the options you see here for the single camera isn't an actual full 360 degrees. In fact, in order to have a full 360 degrees, you need to grab the, not the single camera VR, you need to have the dual pro pack. So the dual pro pack is your example. It's two cameras that you'll place back to back that will essentially then allow you to create 360 degree video. Something great about this is it has its own stitching software. So you can basically bring in the memory cards from both of your cameras and by syncing them together, either through sound or movement, you can easily put together your 360 degree videos. We then start getting into some of the more expensive solutions. And one of them is the GoPro Omni. This is, is a six camera rig. And what's kind of amazing about this is of course you need six GoPros along with the rig in order to capture this, is that you can simply click one button and all your six cameras are synchronized. In some of the other examples, such as the Pix Pro, what you need to know is that those cameras aren't synchronized together. So you've got to press record on each of those buttons, right? Which could be a little bit time consuming because you have to press record on each and then you have to stop on each. Here, everything's synchronized together for you. The other thing is we've got to deal with something called parallax. And in many cases, having more cameras allows you to have more overlap in your 360 degree video to get rid of some of these problems. But you should know the GoPro Omni is a great professional recording device for your 360 video. It is at a much higher price point. We then talk about some other examples. We've got the Nokia Ozo, which is a price point all in itself, but another lovely 360 image gatherer. Also, there's various technologies from a company called Jaunt VR, which you can check out and see some of the solutions that are available there. I have nowhere near mentioned all of the VR cameras available, but hopefully this gives you a little bit of an overview. And something else you should keep in mind is that some studios are actually just using their own cameras and figuring out solutions and creating their own VR rigs. You can check out metal.com for some more information through their blog about different companies have used their own rigs for capturing and acquiring VR footage. So there you have it, an overview of some of the VR camera solutions currently available on the market today.